I'm currently wintering in my RV in South Texas, and I've been here for six weeks, and I'm going to be here for another nine weeks. But this experience has been invaluable. It's been teaching me things every single day and making me reevaluate what my priorities are, what my needs are, what my expenditures are, and things are going to change when I get back home. Hi everyone, I'm Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and welcome to my channel where we talk about frugal living, saving money, cutting expenses, and living your best life on less. If you don't know me, I am from rural Kansas. I was raised by Depression era parents and like I said, I'm currently wintering in South Texas and I'm going to be here for another nine weeks living in my RV. I came down here for a warmer climate. I saved and planned so that I could retire and winter in a warmer climate and then go back home in Kansas, which I will be doing at the end of April. So this experience has changed me. This experience has made me realize by moving into my RV, that I have too much, that I own too much, that I store too much at my home in Kansas. I just recently did a poll with you all to see what kind of things you are storing and what kinds of things you feel like you have too much of. And I can identify in all of the areas that I named for you to choose from. So let's talk about how much I really need to be content. And I'm hoping by going through some of this, it will help you determine what are some of the things maybe you don't need to be storing anymore either. So I brought limited items, of course, since I'm in an RV, but I brought a bunch of food, leaving a ton at home for my husband. And just sitting down the other day randomly, I started thinking about what kinds of meals I could make from that. And I came up with 46 meals, not even counting leftovers, that I could make with the simple ingredients that I brought with me. That is huge. And that was a huge eye opener, just sitting down to write down, like, how many meals could I make with what I already have? And doing that made me realize that I have been storing too much at home for just the two of us. I brought one measuring cup because that's all I really need. I can do anything with one measuring cup. I don't know why I have all these different sizes. They're not necessary. I did bring measuring spoons, even though I don't always use them at home. I brought limited kitchen utensils and minimal storage containers for my leftovers. I have a small fridge, I have a small freezer, and they are both full. And that keeps me in check on not wanting to buy more stuff because I can't fit anything else in there. I brought limited cleaning supplies. I have dish soap. I have an empty spray bottle that I put vinegar and water in, and I have laundry soap. I also brought scratcher pads to wash the dishes and cleaning rags. I also shared with you in one of my recent videos that I brought a capsule wardrobe with me, and I talked about that in detail, and I will link that at the end of this video. But I wanted to tell you that I'm only doing laundry about every week and a half. And with what I brought, it is plenty. I brought limited kitchen appliances. Now, when I name off what I brought, it's going to sound like a lot for an RV. But think about how much more we even have in our house. I have a stove and an oven in the RV. I also brought my turkey roaster in case it's hot 
and I need to cook so I can do it outside so I don't heat up my camper. I brought a small electric skillet that's good for two people. I brought a two and a half quart crock pot, which is small and perfect for one or two people. I brought a coffee pot and a Keurig because we had extra and I keep them in the camper, whether there's one person or more here. I also brought an electric can opener because I have arthritis in my hands. It's hard for me to use the hand crank one. So that one got left for my husband. I brought a toaster and I have a built-in microwave. And then I have this sandwich maker that I love. I even brought my sandwich maker. I bought all of the kids one of these when they went to college and they absolutely loved them. They are quick and easy. You can put just about anything between two pieces of toast and make it fast. But I haven't even used this yet. For jewelry, I brought one pair of earrings that I haven't worn since day two and I brought my wedding ring and keep that on. That's it. I brought limited toiletries and I shared with you that I brought some of the samples from home. It is now six weeks in and I am almost out of the sample shampoo that I brought and almost out of the sample soap. So I haven't even used any of what I brought except for the samples in this entire first six weeks. I also brought shampoo and conditioner, a razor, my medicines, a hairbrush, a comb, a flat iron, my makeup. That's it. That's all the toiletries that I brought. I brought limited bedding, including one pillow slip, what is on my bed, one throw, and one electric blanket, which I have used several times. It's an electric throw, actually, and I've used it a, a bunch of times because it gets really cold here at night. And then I have limited entertainment that I brought with me. I have my laptop that I'm using for my YouTube videos to check my bank balance and do my finances. And I brought an iPad that I'm also using as a television. I do not have a television with me. And I brought my free books from home that I already had and I'm using books from the library here. I also can go to the pool. I also take walks. I use the hot tub and I explore and all of those things are my entertainment and that is all that I brought with me is my imagination and a little bit of sewing. I did bring my sewing kit. So just to give an example of how simple, easy and cheap some of the meals can be right here in the camper or at home. It doesn't even matter where you are. Um, I this week made some bean burritos. I don't know why I forget that those are an option. I think they're just so simple that I don't think about them. It's kind of like what we talked about in one of the other videos about we get used to this restaurant quality meals and we forget how it's so easy and cheap to make some of these easy meals here. But this one ended up being restaurant quality. Now I had bought a can of refried beans for a dollar that will make three burritos maybe four bought a tomato for 25 cents i bought an, two avocados for a dollar i bought a bag of chips with a coupon for a dollar fifty that was 11 ounces i had the green onion from my garden i had garlic salt i brought with me i had a bag of shredded cheese i brought with me that is eight servings that was a dollar seventy nine I bought a container of salsa that has 21 servings for $2.78 and I bought an eight serving sour cream for $1.18. And then I brought my tortillas from home from Aldi. So I decided I was going to do this and I had already brought the tortillas. So I thought, you know, why not just make some really cheap meals with bean burritos? When I added all those things together that I just told you about, the whole total for all of those items was $9.38, but they're going to make multiple, multiple meals. And so when I costed out my bean burrito that I made with shredded cheese and the onion from my garden, and I grilled that on both sides, and then I made 
guacamole, left out the lime juice, I left out the cilantro because I didn't have it, and I just made it with garlic salt, avocado, a quarter of a tomato, and my green onion, and then I had a serving of chips, a serving of salsa, and that cost it out to $1.75, and that was a restaurant quality meal. And I can make multiple of those with what I already named off to you, plus use some of those other ingredients to make other things. So look at how you can stretch that food. It's really eye-opening when I'm here by myself. I guess I went from a family of eight, you know, to a family of two. And even though I thought I had reduced my purchases and reduced my cooking and costs tremendously, just being me here and realizing that I can make like 46 meals out of what I have in the camper right now has been so eye-opening because I have obviously been stocking too much food at home. And then for me to go six weeks off of samples for toiletries, I've obviously been stocking too much shampoo and conditioner at home. You see what I mean? I'm just seeing that all this stuff, it really doesn't go and get used up as fast as I think that it will. And if I used the stuff I already had, it goes so far that I can eliminate that budget for like a month and a half for those products. And I look at my house cleaning and my toiletries and my food budget. I look at that like if I have PTO, okay? So when you work and you have PTO, if you have all your vacation and your sick leave and it's all rolled into PTO, well, if you don't use your sick leave, you have more vacation, right? So that's how I'm looking at this. If I don't use the things that I have already, then I am just using up that PTO. So if I use the things that I have, that I have more at the end, like having more vacation. I hope that made sense. So what I'm learning is the less things I have, the more grateful I am for what I have, and the more creative I get with the things that I have. I wanted to have something sweet the other day, and I didn't bring any sugar with me. I only brought trivia because I had that on hand and it needed used up. So I've been using trivia in the place of anything that required sugar since I got here. I pulled out a cup of peanut butter, one egg, and I used a quarter a cup of trivia plus two tablespoons, and I made peanut butter cookies. Now, if I would have had sugar, I could have used three quarter of a cup of sugar instead of the trivia, but I smashed those out. I made them into peanut butter cookies that were sugar free because that's what I had. I picked up a little frosting at Dollar Tree and I added a little peanut butter to that frosting and made peanut butter frosting and put it on the cookie. And oh my gosh, they were so delicious. I have a picture of them on the thumbnail if you were wondering what that was. And look how easy and cheap that was with hardly any ingredients. So when I get home, I find that I am learning what I can really do without and how I can simplify my home. I have so many ideas just running around in my head. You know, I used two hot pads this whole time. Why do I have tons of hot pads? So I'm learning what I need and maybe what I never did. Isn't that amazing? And so I am really excited to share this news with you today. Let me know if you've had any realizations like this where you realized you just absolutely didn't need this normal everyday stash of stuff that you've been storing this whole time. I hope to see you in the next video and thank you for joining me on this one.